How concerned were you by that? Ah, it's a very disappointing performance, isn't it? So uh, we haven't done great in both boxes. Thought for 25, 26 minutes we're in control of the game. And then we have a crazy spell where we can't defend three crosses if coming into the box and find ourselves down 3 0 down. So uh, very disappointing and certainly not the ideal preparation, ready, ready to go for the start of the season. But uh, we'll certainly, you're not judged on what happens in pre season games. We will we'll be judged over a 46 league campaign. So uh, certainly, obviously, a lot of hard work to be done on the training ground again this week. We had a good week's preparation, not ideal, the, uh, you know, coming back yesterday. But uh, listen, I'm trying to look for excuses for my players. We know we weren't good enough, so we move on. Is there is anything good to say that it's happened now, and you, you, you well, there's things you can work on, you can look at? You judge from three o'clock next week. I appreciate. I'll be, you know, even if we'd have won four 0 you're still thinking, oh, yeah. hold on a minute, we're going to be overconfident next week. So we've got to iron out where we didn't do well today. We'll have a look at it. We'll analyse it. And then we'll uh, build to what I call, obviously, the, the proper game next week. Did you have any players not available today that will yeah, be available? Yeah, quite a few. Injury, injury wise. Yes. yes. Chris Lyons, for example, people yeah. like that. Um, and will they be available next week? We'll see. Will you have we'll a chance see. You know to make what changes? I'm like, Richard, so you're not yeah. going to dig any information out of me. At the end of the day, the lads that weren't involved was because they had injuries. So whether they'll be fit for next week, we'll have to wait and see. Gavin Riley looked quite sharp at the end. Yeah, Gavin, Gavin looked well, but we, we had to be more ruthless in the final third. We've, uh, we got ourselves into some dangerous areas a lot for, for the majority of the game, if I'm honest with you. But uh, certainly a final end product. A bit unfortunate not to score one or two goals ourselves, if I'm honest with you. But we've got to be better in both boxes, we know that. You've said you're going to try and sign at least one striker. Any progress? Well, listen, it's not rocket science. We need two number nines. Uh, you know, and we need a bit of presence up top. So easier said than done. A lot easier said than done because I think people think we're going to be, you know, that big marquee signing, but it won't be the case because we haven't, you know, we can't, we can't get to it, can't get to the figures to it. So, you know, we have to be. Careful Do you mean in terms of wages rather? Yeah, than Yeah, well, yeah, a bit of everything to be honest with you. So we certainly, I, th I think, uh, I think some people think there's. There's going to be a big marquee signing coming in, but that, that won't be the case. We'll be working hard to get the right right ones. I've got a massive long list. Some have already got names scribbled straight from straight away. You know, the boy Stockley, very good. To probably be too expensive. Well, would be too expensive for us. You mm -hmm. know, we roughly know the value of what they're going to be, but uh, certainly it's uh, it's not an easy task. But we still I think it's there for everybody to see, isn't it? We need a little. We, we need more presence. You know, we've lost, lost Ellis Harrison. Uh, we got we had a list behind that. Then all of a sudden the 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 list we've got behind that, like I say, some have been scribbled out already because of the fees they demand and the wages they demand. We can't live with it. In the end, were you surprised that Ellis left? Because it's quite late listen, on, wasn't it, Darren? Yeah, it's not yeah, giving you a lot of time like, to listen, replace him. Yeah, but you say you say that I was looking at for a nine beforehand as well. But uh, mm. you know, it was late in the day where the it happened pretty quickly over two three days uh, for me. It's, it's always difficult to keep all the players when they want to move to the championship. But uh, yeah. where I stand is, a, I, it's such I like a huge to, position well, it to is, replace. It is, and it's frustrating for a manager. Don't get me wrong; I get frustrated and yeah. whatnot. But I have to adapt. That's 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 the tools. We've lost a three, three strikers now, and it's three forward-thinking players in the last three windows. You know, and I'm working hard to try and get us in the champ, and it yeah. becomes harder and harder and harder. And certainly, you know, we've with what we are, we we live within the league rules. That's our budget. That's what we've got. And we we try and get the best players in and the, at the at the right uh, a right price. Do you think you might have someone before Peterborough? I'd, I'd like to think so. Mm. So uh, we're moving on one next week, early next week. So we'll see. We'll see what develops. Okay. Thank you.